Thomas and Percy were ready to push the troublesome trucks loaded with dirt away. The Earl thought they were too heavy for two small engines alone. I must call Sir Topham. I'll ask him to send James back to help. But Thomas didn't want to wait for James to come back. I'm sure Percy and I can manage, sir. He wanted to tell Stephen all about his new job. Hold on, Thomas. Shouldn't one of us be at the front? What happens when we get to the top of the slope? But it was too late. The troublesome trucks were already on the slope. They started to pull forward, dragging Thomas and Percy behind them. Cinders and ashes! The troublesome trucks were too heavy to stop. Sounds like a runaway train! There was only one way to go. Cinders and ashes, Percy. That was a close call. Thomas and Percy pulled the heavy cars back again, feeling very relieved. They didn't realize that poor Stephen was now trapped in the mine. Hello? Can anybody hear me out there? Help! Help! The island of Sodor was buzzing with excitement about the grand opening of Ulfstead Castle. Visitors were hurrying across from the mainland to be there. All the engines were working hard to make sure everything was ready. Thomas went to the steamworks to find Stephen. Hello, Victor. Where's Stephen? I don't know, Thomas. He left in quite a hurry. He kept asking about his new job. His new job? He didn't even know what it was. Where could he have gone? Thomas was worried about Stephen, and when he told James and Percy, they were worried too. See, Thomas, the Earl warned you not to say anything to Stephen. Now look what's happened. Nothing's happened. We'll find it. So Thomas, James and Percy set off to find Stephen. They asked everyone they met if they'd seen him. Sorry, Percy. I honestly can't say I've seen him. I don't think he came to the castle. That old-fashioned engine? Yeah, he was here, James. Diesel had to tell him to keep out of the way. He seemed like a nice engine, Thomas, but the cars were too heavy for him. Nobody knew where Stephen was, and it was starting to get dark. Stephen! I mean me! Help! <laughs> oh, looks like I'll have to find my own way out of here before I run out of steam. Stephen raced around the old mine but he couldn't find another way out. Then, as he hurried round a bend, he bashed into some rocks. Whoa! It started a rock slide. Back at Tidmouth Sheds, Thomas told the other engines that Stephen was missing. He couldn't have gone very far, Thomas. But he might be in danger. Well, you shouldn't have told him he had a job when he didn't. 